It's on? Yeah. It's going? It's going. This one's for real, though? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you, yeah. Are you okay with yeah. that? We're really going to do this for real? Yeah. We're doing it right now. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's already on video. Today. All right. Ready? Right. Action. What's going on, Made to Move? Uh, Legion of whatever. Um, fans. Yeah, yeah. yeah fans. Uh, hopefully you're surviving the uh, pandemic, the apocalypse, and uh, everything that goes along with it. Uh, we're here just to talk about a um, couple things. Really, you know, everybody's stuck at home, or most people are anyway. There's a lot of, I don't know, body weight program, like exercises being released, and a lot of gyms, like CrossFit gyms, or even... Uh, Orange Theory and different different uh, companies are sending workouts to do at home, and we think that's great. And in fact, we've got some workouts that are going to be uh, released here soon, so stay tuned for those. Um, but what we wanted to talk about today is not all exercise is good exercise, and sometimes um, you know exercise is considered a stress to the body, and sometimes adding stress on top of stress that you're already experiencing is a bad thing. So just wanted to get the team together and kind of talk about that and uh, maybe some ways to to combat that stress or you know ways to work in still at being active but not necessarily increasing stress levels yeah what do you guys think so uh, I'll start I, uh, I enjoy playing video games uh, so it really depends on the video game right if you're playing like the new doom heart rates gonna be pretty high maybe too much stress if you're playing, uh, you know, like Zelda or Animal Crossing, probably gonna be pretty, uh, pretty low stress. You're just chilling, trying not to think about anything else. It distracts your brain from what's happening in the world. It's kind of nice. Um, also, reading for pleasure versus reading nonfiction. I need to read this for my business books, right? Yeah, so like, like reading, books yeah, and stuff like yeah. That. yeah, like read a fantasy book, read a, a historical fiction book, read whatever, like something that you genuinely enjoy versus like something that you feel like you need to yeah. retain the information. And, right. And, and apply again yeah, maybe right. something that doesn't yeah. elevate your stress level like yeah. you know the, the the horrors or thrillers you know but yeah, um, yeah. You know, something that just helps you escape like a good love yeah. story a good love story like Twilight yeah there you go yeah that one yeah, got me though that gets my heart rate up yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> best love story of all time uh, <laughs> what else Matt you I, I just like I just like hanging upside down I like uh, <laughs> clearly <laughs> I like no really just like going on long rocks going on long walks playing and having like non-structured exercise. So like like Dame was saying that <clears throat> exercise itself can't, is a stress. Like our body is still gonna perceive that just like it will emotional stress as stress to the system. And having just like non-structured play, whether that's like going on a walk, spending more time just outside, off the phone, just moving, typically makes me feel really right. good. So yeah. nothing that's necessarily structured. Like that, I, I do follow a structured plan, but having some time outside, that's huge. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, going along with what Nate said about reading something, you know, that's uh, entertainment-wise, reading something funny. I think watching something funny. I think it's uh, scientifically proven that if you watch something with Adam Sandler in it, uh, oh, stress totally. goes down. Maybe best I, actor of well, generation. Well, right, yeah. Will, Will, Will Ferrell's in there too. Yeah, Will Ferrell's yeah. Out there. Uh, Seth Rogen is always a good one. We're just talking about that. So. Uh, watching something funny again, something that's not going to elevate uh, that stress level, or just that 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 tension that you might feel internally. Um, limiting news intake. Oh, I think man. a big one is. I mean, obviously we want to stay tuned, right? We want yeah. to understand what's going on in the world, but almost setting like a timer or even saying, "Hey, I'm going to watch the five o'clock local news and that's it. I'm turning the rest of it off because." what changes from noon to five o'clock probably isn't going to affect you and you just yeah. need the bullet points of the day. Um, so just limit that news intake. Yeah, and it's sort of like news ends up giving you problems that you are incapable of solving. Like exactly. You, you're finding out about all these problems going on in the world that you can do nothing about, but you're still going to be stressed about those problems. And so what you need to do is consume news that um, tells you what you need to do and then just cut it off at that point, I would say. Right. Yeah. So, Agreed. Really yeah. Because yeah. I mean, if you're typing Corona, mm -hmm. coronavirus update, coronavirus South Carolina, coronavirus, it's just you want all this latest input, but they know too from like headlines, from a headline standpoint, if they, if they ha create fear, you're gonna they're gonna get more clicks. Yep. So like they're gonna put like oh, sixteen year old girl, right, fighting for her life. Breaking like, news. Wow. Everything's like, breaking news when really not. the count is only elevated by ten over the last however many hours. Like yeah. you can get that at five p.m. or eight a.m whenever you're choosing to uh, to look at that stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. Limit. Um, you know, and I guess to that point, maybe if you're gonna choose that time of day and you have the luxury to choose the time of day, don't choose it right before you go to bed right. or the first thing that you wake up in the morning because 
you don't need to jump out of bed and just immediately go into that that state of hyper awareness and the same thing when you're trying to down regulate before bed you don't need to be tuning into the the, the latest and greatest so um what about actions that we can take i guess you know act, uh, slight yeah. exercise or or you know activities that we can do i know um, a lot of people feel better when they have a plan going into something so uh like if you're struggling business wise or like it's, things are weird at work right now or like your job is out like creating some sort of plan that you can follow step by step and it'll be a little bit stressful while you create it, but then you have this thing that mm -hmm. you can do going forward. And so that'll help a lot of people out long-term versus just like waiting for something to change or hoping that this goes away. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So same thing, yeah, exercise plan, same way. It's like if I don't know what I'm doing, it causes me more thinking, more anxiety before I get to that, get to time to exercise. But if I have a plan that's kind of laid out for me to where I'm gonna do this, this and this, it just allows me not to think about it, go in, act, and then when I'm doing that, my exercise can almost be a, a form of meditation itself because mm -hmm. I'm just I'm just doing what's on the board, I'm not thinking about it, but if I had to think about my workout, then that also it can create anxiety. Yeah. For sure. Uh, foam rolling is a good one just to kind of, again, like do yourself a little bit of a self massage. You can use like the sticks or the lacrosse balls or a foam roller. You know, we'll, we'll kind of post a video about that, maybe just ways that you can go about using some of that soft tissue stuff. Another one is like meditating or uh, like meditative breathing, like 90-90 breathing. We'll, we'll post another video about that later. Um, just finding a way to close your eyes, breathe rhythmically, and uh, spend some time kind of just calming everything down. Um, I don't know, what else? I, I think the last two things that I'm thinking of are sleep and eating. Uh, I have made yes. it a priority since this all started to try to affect my sleep a little bit better. Um, I know that I'm, my work schedule is a little bit messed up, so I'm trying to make sure that I am in bed for nine hours, regardless of whether or not I'm sleeping or yep. whatever. I'm just trying to make sure that I have a little bit lighter schedule in terms of having to be here at 7.30 a.m. on the dot to open the door. So I'm trying to take that little bit of extra time to sleep slightly longer to, to get a little bit more rest. And then the same with food. Um, taking a little bit more time to prepare food. You can't go out and eat right now, so you might as well look at trying to make the best choices possible and take the extra time to cook with family and, and hang out. Yeah, use this time as an opportunity for you to do just that, to strengthen your relationship with your family, to improve your nutrition, to start moving more, even though it may be confined to just your house this is a perfect time, you know, just to really take advantage of creating new healthy habits. Yeah, or to like beat a 70 hour video game. <laughs> that too, yeah, yeah, that too. Totally. Yeah. That too. Yeah. Uh, well, great. I think that was awesome. I think hopefully there's a lot of tips in there and stuff that's just outside of that exercise world and, and still about being healthy. Uh, if you do want any help at all in terms of coming up with your own plan or, you know, just talking through this, we are all medical professionals and yeah. help answer questions in regards to the coronavirus or any other aspect of, of what's going on in your life right now. Love to jump on a call, uh, no cost, to just kind of talk through things and uh, see if yeah. we can help you make a plan going forward. So uh, best of luck. Stay safe. Stay healthy.